This video has been sponsored by yours truly, me. Well, guess what? We are we have the uh, Discord server open. This is just a short uh, uh, two-second video because uh, I wanted to go ahead and promote my uh, Discord server that I have with Ace Dragon, lead, leader of Yakuza War which is a two-game guild, and, uh, yeah, pretty much, anyone who wants to join up on Discord, meet me there, and talk, and, you know, chill out, play some games, and, and sometimes, uh, join some live streams, get the latest news on what I'm doing on YouTube, well, guess what, it's all here, the Discord server is here, and we also have, uh, music bots, uh, waifu bots, what, and whatnot, basically shit that, uh, you guys will be able to do and enjoy, plus we also play, Games like Dragon Ball Legends, Naruto Blazing, Dokkan, Sword Art Online, and more gacha games. So if you guys want to chill out and enjoy, just just uh, the link to the Discord server will be in the description below. And go ahead and join the vi video, guys. So yeah, peace. I'll see you guys in the video. Resurrection. Solo Saki. What's going on guys? It's your boy the Death Smasher and today we're we're back with a should you summon video so um today the update just dropped and very soon in a couple minutes we should be getting the news on the 3% gacha and what's more to come out because we did get an update that was like 44 megabytes. I'm pretty sure that they added in the new characters by now. So we're just go ahead and we'll just go ahead and see by the countdown of uh the five star raids and let's just watch it together while we wait for the uh, banner to drop so hold on a minute okay yeah we have exactly uh, 50 uh, well less than a minute left so we can wait for a good bit and then we'll go ahead and hop in and see what we are getting in terms of characters how good they are and overall give you guys my final opinion on the banner because personally I just don't think it's gonna be worth it because we got anniversary but we'll see about it in a minute and see what else they added in, because I feel like they added in something else to it. Keep in mind that banner is going to be 3% gotcha, so no double chance, no fillers. It's just going to be the three characters. You're going to think it's, an, it's a good deal, right? Well, guess what? No, it isn't, because you, even though they're 1% each, pulling them is going to be very hard, and there won't be any fillers to pull from. Trust me, I'd rather summon on double chance banners than summon on uh, banners with 3%. Because, really, I just want to go for the one I want, and not for the one I can't. Not, not for just one banner character. But anyways, let's take a look at the news. And see what, what else today added. Okay, okay, uh, uh, okay, this is the event that we get along with it. Let's take, Let's go over the event real quick. So what does this event give out? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. Okay, we get four to five star uh, summons tickets and brave soul tickets from this lottery event. We get a new Kisuke. <laughs> crystal link. Thank you for the extra crystal link, Kayla. I love you guys. I love you guys. And now let's go ahead and take a look into the, the banner. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, hold on. Summons. Alright. Now let's go ahead and take a look. Okay. Master of Healing of the Healing Arts and Captain of Squad 4, Retsu Unahana. Retsu's ranged normal attack character. Okay. Okay. It called on my on the fact that she's ranged, but she's normal attack. So let's just see what he what she has. She has Hollow Killer. Retsu's an excellent support character. Her special move heals herself and her teammates while da dealing damage to her enemies and inflicting last rate. Hmm, okay, interesting. While her second strong attack is a berry move. She is also able to unlock fire immunity, making her very useful to take on any quests with a, a lot of burn inducing ha hazards or enemies. So she's basically going to be a ranged, normal attack character with a barrier, and she's going to be able to heal and inflict lacerate? That is actually interesting on my on Caleb's part. Alright, let's see. Uh, squad 12 Kisuke. Uh, squad Kel Ugh, excuse me, I'm not reading right. Squad 12 Captain Kisuke Urahara, hidden beneath his cloak. Kisuke is a ranged strong attack character with the Aronker Killer ability. Okay, so yeah, he, it, it did call on the fact that he's gonna have Frenzy, but I thought that he was gonna be melee. Okay, fuck it, we got ourselves another ranged Kisuke. I wanted to d differentiate from Fate to Black, but whatever. So yeah, he has a Aronker Killer, his third strong attack has a chance to inflict Prowless. 
Oh wow. I d <laughs> okay, I knew that he was gonna inflict paralysis. That's good. And he can unlock frenzy and the rare disabler skill to greatly increase the chance of in of the attack inflicting paralysis. What does disabler do? I forgot. Oh. He is also able to unlock paralysis immunity, making him very useful to take on any quests with a lot of paralysis inducing hazards. Okay, so he's gonna be ranged. And Shinji, he's melee. Okay, Sh uh, Squad 5 Captain Shinji Hiraku, promoted, uh, prompted to action by Hiyori Scolding. Shinji is a melee normal attack character. He's normal attack too? Normal attack character with the Aranka Killer ability. He's co he comes armed with the rare low stamina damage boost soul trait that increase. No, why did they have to give him the Genjo link? It sucks. Oh, fuck. That increases the, the damage in he inflicts by 30% when he is at low stamina. He is also able to unlock freeze immunity and paralysis immunity, meaning the only way to stop him is to kill him. Okay. Well, that's... These new characters will be added to the epic raid advantage... So these characters are going to be added into the bonus for the epic raids? God damn. Okay, well, let's just let's just take a look at what they have. So, Retsu, she's a nor- oh, Okay, she's power. Alright, as if we didn't have enough power nod character. So, she has 1081 stamina, attack at 760, 376, 349 focus, and 622 SP. Hollow killer. Alright, normal attack damage 20. Hey! Okay! Okay! You know what? I think that Retsu is going to be the best in the banner because she has an 80 bruiser with a 20% normal attack damage link. Yo, this is becoming the new norm. I actually like it. Devastation 30%, Debilitator, Berserker, Sprinter. Let's see what she needs. Do we get any new raid characters? Okay, no. Kisuke! Okay, so he... He'll, okay, so he is speed. Attack six at 634. Defense at 352. Focus at 358. And SP at 778. Yeah, interesting. Oranka Killer, will you let me buy? Okay. Okay, so he does get strong attack recharge. Uh, so far, this looks to be another really good Kisuke. I thought they, they would shaft him on the soul trait, but instead, Shinji that got shafted. That's the funny thing. Could this Kisuke surpass uh, Kakao Society Momo? I hope so. Is this so, I would like to have him in the future, but I'm not going to summon for him. So, yeah. Now, let's take a look at Shinji. 762 attack, 616 folk, uh, SP, excuse me. Okay, so also Shinji inflicts Lacerate, but he doesn't have a debilitating Lacerate. Oof, that's gonna suck. But he does have a... This this soul trait, just, just fuck off. Nobody asked for this soul trait. I'm sorry. So he's long reach, he has long reach, 20% Berserker at 40%, Sprinter, plus one, Paralysis, or... Mm, uh, Okay, so he has Paralysis and Freeze Immunity, it's decent, Devastation at 30%, Bruiser at 80%. I won't lie, Shinji's good, as an overall normal attack damage character. But did they really have to give him damage inflicted at a low stamina at 30%? Just give him a normal attack damage link, it would have been better. Or you could also give him a, a full stamina damage boost. That would have been also way better to work as a hybrid unit, in my overall opinion. But meh, they decided to go this route, and you know what? Fuck it, they went this route. But hey, it's good to see that all normal attack damage characters are getting an 80% bruiser. It just means that we're going to be getting good normal attack damage characters that are very close to having flurry. That being said, do I recommend summoning on this banner? Uh, personally? Now, I haven't seen the gameplay, but I'd say no. Because these characters are not needed in any way, shape, or form. They're just there if you want them. So, let's take a look at, um, Retsu. Okay. She's power and has Hollow Killer. And she's a captain. And as if we got too many of them already, like, we got, we got Tag Team Yama, we got, uh, the past Jushiro, we have Manga Toshiro. She's just something you, something that you want to get and just <laughs> jerk off to. <laughs> this is what I think about Retsu. This is just someone you want to jerk off to as you play as her and use her nor uh, lacerating normal attacks and just... Yeah, pretty much. And, uh... Yeah. Kisuke! Uh, um... So, yeah, uh, we already have, like, other Oranka killers in the game, like Tag Team Ikaku, uh... Tag Team, uh... Hold on, no. We got... We already got some characters with Oranka killer, like Mangarukia, Tag Team Ikaku, uh... Fucking... Who was it again? Uh, Riruka? 
and uh, Kakao Society Momo. Also, Tag Team Retsu, who is also very uh, plenty viable in Senkaiwan quests and uh, Guild quests sometimes. But this Kisuke, yeah, you don't really need him. And uh, Shinji, on the other hand, hold on, he is. He has a. Okay, he has a tickle. Oh, come on, you guys know you don't need him. We got the likes of fucking Soyphone. Come on, man. Do you guys really need him? If you if you if you guys think you really need him, you guys must be on drug. Unless unless you're a Shinji fan, then I I fucking believe you. But again, no, do not summon on this banner. These characters are going to be added to the premium summons. You'll be able to get them later on in the future. Just don't summon on it. Save up for anniversary. That's what I'm gonna say. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace um, out. Initially, I was supposed to end with this Should You Summon video, but I figured, you know what, I came home late, let's do the gameplay as well. So I already got the, uh, got some the videos downloaded, so we got the gameplay for Ki Kisuke, Shinji, and Retsu. So we're basically gonna be looking... I already have the gameplay for both Shinji, Retsu, and Kisuke, so we're gonna be taking a look into each and every one of them and still judge if they're good and whatnot starting off with Shinji so let's get let's get to it uh, hold on let me let me put on the volume I already seen the gameplay for Shinji and Kisuke but then my uh, PC crashed and I needed to do the recording session all over again which kind of ruined the whole point of watching them blindly so anyways let's just go ahead and watch it Hagita! So, after watching his gameplay, I must say that Shinji, even though he got the shit soul trait, he's actually good good himself, like, let's take a look back at what he does, so, now, hold on, so he doesn't, inf it's only his special that inflicts lacerate, which is kind of disappointing, but, his kid does, really does compensate, like, Third, third strong attack is basically similar to uh, Wide Zangetsu, where it basically gathers uh, enemies and and kind of explodes, just like that. Great for crowd control. His second strong attack is a vortex, but not the type of vortex that surrounds you and lets you damage. And even though it still does work, I feel like honestly, I don't know, man. Like I honestly think that this Shinji is good, but. I think they should have just given him a surrounding vortex instead of this vortex because this vortex, I would have preferred it even more if he had frenzy. But because this is a normal attack damage unit, this is basically more for crowd control. But that being said, if he were to be a bonus unit, he will definitely work as an extra vortex. So I give Kalab props to that, and I gotta say I really like I really like his kit, even though he doesn't inflict any status ailments, and. His first one is basically a normal lounge, which is which is alright, similar to Kenny's. But his normal attack damage string is godly. Just as godly as, as Weaken, so... Yeah, Shinji's already a really good normal attack damage link. I kind of take back what I said, I think he's actually pretty good. And now that we're done with Shinji, let's just go ahead and take a look at Kisuke. Hold on, let me... I have mixed opinions about Kisuke, but you guys will find out why soon. Hold on. Okay, here we go. ま、たな。随分と警戒されてるんすね。投資者もらえませんかね。まだ終わるのじゃ。スケベだ。スケベだ。パーク上ですね。パーク上ですね。Now I have very mixed feelings about this Kisuke because, don't get me wrong, he's actually looking very good, but, I don't know man, I 
feel like his third could have been something better. It should have been like a full screen third, because don't get me wrong, it does have the range, it covers a lot of it, and because it's not charged, it, it works, but it should have been full screen in my personal opinion. Or if they were to do something that caliber, just make it like Hokuto's third strong attack, where you basically gather enemies and it, ex it explodes. Easy as that. Second one, the second strong attack, however, I think it's... I don't know. I think it's good, not... Like, don't get me wrong, it does It does help to get a lot of enemies into one corner and does push them back. Similar to Manga Shunsui, but I don't know, it doesn't really feel like it has much of an impact. Or so I think. We still need to... Yeah, it wasn't able to kill... The insta-kill the tougher enemies, because normally he'd be able to do that. And first, strong attack is... Yeah. I don't know what to say about his first. It's just mm, kind of mediocre. Normal attack damage ring, yeah, it, it's fine, it's fine. I feel like Kisuke kind of got the shaft in terms of kit. Don't get me wrong, he's good, but... Manga Kisuke's still godly compared to this Kisuke, but... I won't, li I won't mind having him. I won't actually mind having him as a ranged around for killer. And is and he is actually better And he is actually better than um what well, uh Riruka, in my honest opinion, but Riruka does boost, so fuck it. That's uh Kisuke. Now we're gonna take a look at Retsu, who I did not watch. So this is the only gameplay I know that is gonna be completely blind. So let's watch it. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna get the volume on. Jesus! This is my first time watching Retsu, and I'm already pretty damn impressed, to say, to say the least, but... Let me start off directly with my disappointment about Retsu. I'm gonna start off directly about that. She has no medic? Her second strong attack does not heal, and only gives herself a barrier, and we had... Uh, uh, second strong attacks that give barriers and do extra things. For example, Anniversary Okiora. When you use the bar barrier, you also boost. And, but in this case, now we don't see that shit. And my biggest disappointment of them all is... Lacerate is only on the third in the special. Bruh. What are you guys doing, Caleb? You guys disappointed me very badly when it comes to giving these characters status ailments. Why? Just why? What the fuck? But that being said, uh, third strong attack, pretty good. Directly full screen. Second strong attack, barrier. It works. She overall does work even when built hybrid. So, I can't give her much of a, you know. And first, basically good for pushing back and guard breaking. But her normal attack damage string though, it's something. Yo! Jesus! Retsu is pretty much the the best character in the banner. I think I think she's god tier. I'm sorry, she's really good. And that's the gameplay for all three characters. Would I still say to summon? No! It's a 3% banner. Wait for them to be featured in future banners that have that are double chance where you can pull them. These guys are in the premium sums. Focus on limited banners like Can't Figure Your Own World and Thousand Year Blood War. That's what I'm gonna say. Now, overall, these characters are pretty good. I won't lie. I I was expected to be kind of dis disappointed, and to be honest, I thought Kisuke I thought Kisuke was gonna be good, but he disappointed me. But Retsu and Shinji, pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I really like these new normal type damage characters that have an 80 bruiser. These characters will be amazing for PvE, but... Skip the banner, do yourselves a favor, save up for a thousand year of blood war, and save up for camp for your own world. This has been your boy the Death Smasher, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out.